as family caregivers of adults with intellectual and developmental disabilities in North Carolina, I am asking our state senators and our state house representatives to please vote to exclude developmental disabilities from the expansion of the Medicaid BC Managed Care Waiver. The Innovations Waiver that Piedmont piloted did not, did not show any savings with DD services. Go to the report that Pam Shipman presented to the HHS Appropriations Committee on February 24th, page 15th. There is no savings in DD. Please amend any of the proposed legislation to exclude developmental disabilities. Please understand there is no one, no families, no providers, no advocacy agencies, the ARC, Disability Rights North Carolina, no one agrees that including developmental disabilities in the expansion of a managed care program is a good idea. We have ideas on how to expand the system to include more individuals with developmental disabilities. But this 1915 BC North Carolina Innovations Waiver is not the way to do it. Please look at what happened in Mecklenburg. Thank goodness that Grace Crockett, the former director, got caught mismanaging a federal grant. And as part of that investigation, an independent consultant reviewed Mecklenburg's ability to be a waiver authority and said in the report that Mecklenburg doesn't have the management depth to be a waiver authority. So they put off their expansion into the BC Managed Care Waiver from January of 2011 until July of 2012. And how could the people at DHHS, DMA, DMHDDSAS think that they could recommend Mecklenburg to CMS to, for CMS to grant the waiver authority to Mecklenburg? It, DMA, DA, DMH, they don't know who is capable. It's not right. Developmental disabilities does not belong in a managed care system. There are only four states in America that are doing it. Four states is not a majority. Please, please exclude developmental disabilities. Please exclude the North Carolina Innovations Waiver. Thank you.